Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode of The Witcher 1 Lore Through. Not Let's Play, not Blind Playthrough, but Lore Through. And um, I've been asked to do a Witcher 1 and 2 and 3 actually playthrough for a while now, and well, my Let's Plays are generally blind, and I don't really. I, they're not really fun to watch, I think, when I already know everything that's gonna happen. I know everything that's gonna happen in The Witcher 1, and then some. So instead, of doing a blind playthrough, which is impossible now, I'm instead going to do a lore through. And what that means is that every time something happens, much like what I did in the blood and wine playthrough actually, which was blind, I'm going to tell you uh, what the links are to the books, if there are references, and a bit more about the character whenever possible. And when something doesn't make sense, I will also tell you because, and th this is very unfortunate, but The Witcher 1 is probably the least lore-friendly Witcher in the series. The Witcher 3 is probably the best if we're gonna go by that, which I guess it makes sense they retconned Thaler. The Witcher 1 has a lot of discrepancies. A lot of things don't really make sense. And uh, I guess you can explain it somewhat if you really, 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 really twist your limbs around. But some things are just... Well, just not there. And I know why, because obviously I watched the documentary and everything, and they just didn't have the time or the resources at that point to fix everything the way they wanted to, like models once they were done. You couldn't just edit it a little bit, which you'll see in a minute affects Triss's character quite a bit. And uh, the elves as well. <laughs> well, you're gonna see that. I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna do Witcher 1, then I'm gonna do The Witcher 2, with Yordvet's path, obviously, but I'll tell you about Road to as well. Don't you worry. And uh, then The Witcher 3 and Hearts of Stone. So, let's get right into this. I am going to play it on easy difficulty. Why? Because I really, really cannot be bothered with the combat in this game. <laughs> There's also a lot of cutscenes. Well, a lot. Can you see my mouse? No, you cannot. Okay. The Northern Kingdoms nursed their wounds for five years after the Great War. Plague and famine raged, the death toll unknown. A few surviving elven and dwarven units sought refuge amidst forests, where they prepared for a final, desperate fight. Abominable beasts ruled backwoods, highways, and former battlefields alike. In cities and villages, folk were left wondering, what had happened to the Witchers? The Blue Mountains in the north of Kedwin. The year, 1270. Five years after the Great War. His stamina's lacking. This is actually also something that is a discrepancy, but we'll get to that after the cutscene. Very, very slowly approaching poor Geralt. Although I can't really explain what happened before this yet, because they actually talk about that in The Witcher 2, so that would be a spoiler. Oh yeah, there's gonna be book spoilers, <laughs> by the way. That should not be a surprise. Where am I? Everything's alright. I've no idea where you've been. The important thing is you're alive and among friends. Though you look like you just left your grave. I actually haven't seen this in a while because I always just skip through things to get to the point where I need recordings. <laughs> Poor horse. That is not Scorpion. We'll speak soon enough. We're nearing Kaer Morin. And this is like outside of a, a, an outside adventure. This is the only time you see the outsides of Kaer Morhen. Unfortunately. Like they made they made this entire map already, then they couldn't use it. Until they made the side adventure. Of course. 
Price of neutrality, was that it? If you just play the game for the first time, that's pretty massive. Lambert could not be bothered to go and fetch me. Stare. It's like Luigi's death stare, but with Lambert. We're home. Leo, get Triss. Enjoy things while you can. Wrong! You missed the parry! You suck! I keep repeating this. Pirouette always followed by a back cross parry. Always! Barely two days have passed since they found you. Mm hmm I owe my recovery to you. Thank you, Triss. Remember anything? Not much. Look below. I know the moves. Pirouette, parry, cut. I can't explain it, but I feel a bond when we speak. I know you are important. Geralt, we... <gasps> Birds. <sighs> I need to think. Time flows slowly at Kermorin. Ha! It worked. Got for you. Take a rest. What do you think, Geralt? Is he ready for the path? Nope. Wait for the rest. He's alone. The professor promised 50 orange for every freak we kill. He's mine. Doth not mess with the Lambert. We got company. That was always more funny to me than <laughs> intimidating. I'm shutting the gates. Geralt, grab a sword off the training forms. Oh my god, that is the sword I must drink from the training swords. Give me the sword. We'll talk later. Oh, I only have this style now? Of course I don't. You're gonna get more fighting styles, by the way. Oh, I just realized you can barely see that. Not that it really matters, but... And this is the combat in, in the game, basically. This, yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding, this is the combat in the game. You get used to it, I promise. How do you feel? Fine. Anyone know who the intruders are? Ordinary bandits would never attack Kaer Morin. That we know, Marigold. You could try some of your famous magic. In due time, Lambert. Enough! We need to check the other possible passages to the upper courtyard. You might have noticed that some of the voice acting is quite stilted. And they don't have loot yet. You also get used to that. You get used to a lot of things. But the thing about uh, Triss here is that Triss is actually... Actually, I can probably stop here. Triss is supposed to have a scar. Like, at the front here, she's supposed to have a scar. Because after the battle on the hill, she got scarred so badly that most of it got fixed. But the, her chest was scarred so, so badly that they just couldn't fix that. And in the books, that's why she says, I will never wear a plunging neckline ever again. And what's she wearing here? 
Well, this is a bit more than a plunging neckline, isn't it? That is, that, yeah, yes it is. Yes it is, Triss. Explain. But she doesn't, she doesn't explain. What's happening? They're trying to break down the gate. They won't get anywhere without a battering ram. Or that. Shit. What is a frightener. That? A frightener. One mean beast. Savola. I know him. A mage as ambitious as he is insane. See, it looks more like a giant mantis at this point. They're coming up here. Get ready. Which isn't necessarily how it was described in the books either. There's more. They're entering the upper courtyard. The one in glasses is the professor. Murder for hire. I sense magic. There's a sorcerer among them. Professor, you know the way. Get to it. The professor is wanted in Redania, Tamaria, and Kedwin. A real maggot. I don't recognize the sorcerer. Marigold, I'm interested in whether you can disarm Savola. The rest is witch's work. I'll try. They're coming. The Frightener is very dangerous, but it's vulnerable to loud noises. The bell's in the upper courtyard. Exactly. Eskel, Lambert, you'll help me stop the Frightener and the bandits. Leo, stay behind us. Geralt, you open the gate to the upper courtyard. When we're there, Triss can stop Savola and his pet while we prepare to deal with the Professor and the Unknown Mage. I'll figure something out. Let's do this. Bleed them a bit down here before withdrawing. Geralt, follow the wall and break through to the tower where there's a passage to the upper courtyard. Alone? They're just bandits, though one might be infamous. You must open the gate. We'll be waiting. Good luck, Wolf. Right, so you see, the problem with the Professor plotline here is that the Professor is dead in the books. Um, he was actually killed by Geralt as well, and I think they were after... I don't think they were after Geralt, but they were after what's-her-face? Yennefer and Ciri. I just called them what's-her-face. Oh, blasphemy. So they were after Yennefer and Ciri, and, um, well, they ran into Geralt instead. And Geralt murdered them all, because there weren't- there wasn't just a professor, there was a professor and he had this little gang. And then Geralt did the Geralt thing, which is, you know, murder, basically. And they all died. And there really wasn't that much anyone could do about it. And now he's back all of a sudden. Ah, oh, there's no loot here. Why do you check then, Jins? I don't know. I always check weird places. But yeah, so that's a- that's a retcon from the book, basically. I don't really know why they did that, to be really honest. Because... There- there's a ton of evil guys that they could have used that were still alive from the book which I will probably make a list of at one point that they didn't so I, I am actually very curious to know why they specifically went for the professor over anyone else which you know was was a dead guy he was a dead professor though he was indeed an assassin yes oh I have speed now can you see that oh, you can barely see that I'm gonna look exactly where um, where the, the, the talking options stand, and then I'll change that for next time. Maybe I can put it downstairs. Yeah, I am now talking about the camera instead. There's a good chance that I'm going to cut out a lot of the fighting in the future, by the way, because this is this is really all it is. You, you can't really do much else than this. I mean, you can, obviously, but... It comes down to the same thing. Pitfalls! As Geralt glides upon the walls. Gliding, ever gliding. Nope, you suck. Bye. Ah, no Wilhelm scream though. I'm a little disappointed. No way through here. Follow me. Back to Savola. We failed our lord and master. Mess with me and die. 
See, they always say these things even though, well, you know, I'm a witcher. I just missed my attack, by the way. Like, I don't know why people still do this. Like, oh, it's just a witcher. It's only the famed white wolf. Let's just attack him. Oh, you still speed, aren't you? The way the combat system works as well is there's the heavy attack, which you use against, you know, these guys. They're very slow, so you use a heavy attack. And if they're very small assassin types, you have to use the fast attack. And there's another thing that you should know about the movement in this game is, uh, and I don't know if this is true, but I've always felt like, look, I'm running away fast now. If I have my weapon drawn in speed mode or in group style, which I don't have yet, I feel like I run faster. I might be entirely wrong. I don't think I am though. I really do feel like I run faster. So much blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the humanity. Oh, I missed my attack. Maybe not make clever quips and just attack things, Gen Z. I like quips. Still no loot, right? No, still no loot. Do the thing. Do the thing, Geralt. Do the thing. Geralt, do the thing. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to be doing here right now. Geralt? Geralt, why aren't you doing the thing? Oh, really? Really, though? Come back here. Come back here and die. You're interrupting my play. For goodness sakes. Do the thing now. Thank you. Casually. <laughs> Stab slice. I gotta just pause for a moment. It's like, oh, actually, let's leave. <laughs> about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Trace, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Truth may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. Okay, so you really don't need the Thunderbolt. The Swallow is great. I use that all the time. But, yeah, this, this, I mean, it's nice, I guess, but... I never use it. There are other potions that are better, and getting toxicity sucks. Geralt, let's go inside! What if I don't want to, Leo? I know what awaits us, Leo. You don't want to go inside, trust. Ready, Geralt? Mm-hmm. Is this your first real fight? No, but I've never killed a He's man. gonna make me drink Stay the potion. Close. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, I know. Watch. Geralt, wait. What? Bandits inside. Drink the Thunderbolt potion Vesemir gave you. Every time, when you really don't need it. They're forcing me to cheat. Not that it matters, I have like next to no potions anyway. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher. But I managed to aid him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. 
Lambert looked away. I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. The story does not have a happy ending, by the way. I know. Oh, and by the way, uh, the way I was found, uh, that gets explained in The Witcher 2, why I was found there, but uh, it, it, it's also a bit weird. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. I think you're probably, if you're watching this, you probably already know that he was, he escaped from the wild hunt, but the rest, the rest will be for later. Yay, group style. Drowner style also is what it's called. Necker style also is what it's called. You can't ah! defeat a witcher. You're not a witcher, Leo. Shut up. He's not. He wants to be, but he's not. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. Thanks for that intermission. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the witches? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. I already killed you once. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us. Is what you think? We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. You learn it by quickly clicking the power at the Circle of Elements, and then all of a sudden you know all the things. That's how that works. That is actually how that works. I don't know. Oh my god! I learned things! Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. How did you know that would work, Leo? That's suspicious, Leo. Explain, Leo. Row, row, row your boat. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague. You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir, I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. Okay, so first of all, Triss, you would have known that there was a circle if you were a good mage. Are you a good mage, Triss? Exactly. Yennefer would have known. Anyway, um, these two choices, it, it, they don't really matter. Whatever you do, you get the same outcome, basically. Only if you go with Vesemir to handle the Frightener, I think you get like a like a red meteorite or something. You can, you can craft a better sword at the end of chapter one, which isn't really necessary, especially because we're playing on Eevee. Eevee? We're playing on Eevee. We're playing on easy. 
And if you go with Triss, uh, it's just more experience as far as I know, which in the end is going to be more useful because, well, you're going to get a better sword regardless. So we generally go with Triss. Also, the Frightener fight is really annoying because why is that annoying? Well, it, it just is. If you do it at one point, then you'll know because you have to basically add some bells and then you have to wait for your magic power to return and it's it's a tedious mess. And Triss gets her face beaten by Savola otherwise, which is just sad. I can't let that happen. Anyway, real quick on the Frightener. You don't actually meet the Frightener in, in uh, the, re the regular series of The Witcher because, well, it, I think it's mentioned at one point at least because you summon creatures like the Frightener, like a big Frightener with Elzur's cross. And there's a different story called... the Is it The Road of No Return? I think that's what it's called. Which is basically a story about Geralt's mother and father and how they met. Okay, Sapkowski has, has actually said that it's not canon, but he did write it and it is basically the same world, so it really doesn't make that much sense to not be canon. So I've always personally considered it in my canon to be a thing. Especially because, well, it's the same name and his mother does show up to Geralt in the main series. So to say it's not canon just makes very little sense to me. So personal canon, I accept it. You might not, but I do. And in that uh, story, you uh, I think it's a Khrushchev that you that you fight. Or, well, they fight. We don't, because it's not a game. Uh, and the Khrushchev was also summoned with Alzir's cross. And that is basically the same way you summon a Frightener, as far as I know. Which is just extremely powerful mutation magic. And the Khrushchev was also just massive. It was, it was literally gigantic. And the Frightener should... By all means, also be gigantic. I guess maybe he's, maybe Savola's just a terrible mage and he makes terrible frighteners that are just tiny, tiny, tiny frighteners. Which, you know, why would we even be afraid of that? Because he's terrible at magic, clearly. Well, I guess we beat his face in a minute, so that makes a little sense. But yeah, that is where frighteners come from. I know you don't see them anywhere in the world because of that, because frighteners are summoned creatures. Again, as far as I know, like you have to create them through a spell. And there's, there's a bunch of other creatures that were also created in that way. And Alzer Al has never wanted to continue that, that, that line of magic after that because of what happened. I think it was also, was it Khrushchev or Frightener? I, I actually don't know exactly which one it was, but there was, uh, Elzer's cross was also used near Maribor. I think it was actually something entirely different, like a giant worm. Uh, and that attacked Maribor, and it was also Alzer's cross that caused it. So basically it just causes a lot of trouble, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think you actually meet Alzer himself though, I think he was already dead. Yeah, you don't really get to know much about him, except that he's crazy and he hates himself for making Alzer's cross. <laughs> Life's legend legacy. Anyway, I'm gonna make a little cut here and then we'll uh, not handle the Frightener with Vesemir. We're gonna handle the lab with Triss, because we're, we, we probably want to bang her, right? Uh, even though we're gonna go with Shani in this playthrough. Yes, yes, we're gonna go with Shani. We love Shani. See you in the next episode. Teleportation. Magic lights is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. He's just standing there like... <laughs> I love the animations in this game so much.